It's police identifying that gunman as 65-year-old Pavel Vito. He reportedly killed himself after police found him hiding under a boat. That was several hours after his victims, including Liberty County Deputy Richard Witten, were rushed to the hospital. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon live from the Texas Medical Center where that deputy is receiving treatment. Roseanne, we understand the deputy's condition actually listed as worse today. That's right. Uh, Liberty County deputies tell me Deputy Witten's condition went from critical but stable to now just critical because of medical complications. They tell me doctors are actively working with him right now. It's a situation that's got many hearts on the line. We try to have meals together uh, and show support for each other. We know what's going on in each other's lives. Uh, it's a pretty big thing. A close-knit group, the Liberty County Sheriff's deputies rallying with their brothers in blue for Deputy Richard Witten. When I saw him, of course, they just got here and he was still in a lot of pain. So, uh, but he's a fighter. He always has been. He's a good man. Fighting for his life after being shot by 65-year-old Pavel Vito Wednesday, a man wanted in the shooting of two men and a woman, all employed by the Be Dependable Plumbing Service. The woman died. Vito left the scene and was confronted by Witten at a nearby veterinary clinic. He came right up on the car, and even though he was off duty, he t it was his duty to respond, to which he did. An exchange of gunfire left a bullet in Witten's neck. He was rushed to Memorial Herman. Then the day-long manhunt for Vito began. Investigators are still trying to figure out why. Can't uh, confirm anything quite yet, but we do have some theories that we're working on. This six-year-old bloodhound named Radar did his job, sniffing Vito out under this boat, where Vito eventually took his own life. Meanwhile, law enforcement officials all day came to show support. That is no different today. I kind of got booted out since I wasn't family. feel like I'm family, but I wasn't family. Now, the presence of law enforcement can be felt here. All of these cars behind me belong to law enforcement officials who are visiting that deputy today. They say they want to be there for their brother in blue. Deputies tell me they should know more later today. Reporting live from the Medical Center, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.